for those that don't know, what is transplant medicine? So in transplant, there's the medical side and then there's the surgical side. Um, so the medical side, specifically, I, I work with uh, liver transplant mainly during the days. And uh, so we manage uh, all of the patients before their transplant. Uh, and then after their transplant, and then even further after their transplant, when they come back for any complications that we think could be related to their immunosuppression or their transplant. Um, it's, the, the medicine is, um, is very complex, just due to the fact that the, a lot of these patients are immunosuppressed and uh, have previously had uh, end organ failure. So, uh, there's a lot of complications that can arise with that. Um, so working parts of these interdisciplinary teams, uh, it's, it's really phenomenal to see um, how everyone comes together to manage these complex patients. And, it's, and every day I learn so much just about, uh, about different presentations and some, there's always some um, rare presentations that uh, will appear and then you can get a read up on it. So it's, it's really exciting to uh, be a part of. Yeah, so the, the multi-organ transplantation program, it's actually, it's more than that. It's there, there's, there's the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, there's the kidney pancreas transplants and then there's a the small bowel. So there's, a, there's about six, but two of them aren't as common. Um, so uh, with my position, um, I will work with the liver transplant team for two weeks and then I'll be working call and weekends uh, covering all of the organ groups. Um, so it, because of that we have to have uh, a thorough or a, a large understanding of how to manage patients from any of these organ groups, um, be it in an emergency setting where uh, patients are um, starting to not look very good or, um, or just for certain things like managing blood sugars, managing blood pressures, things like that. Mm -hmm. And what's, um, what kind of care are patients receiving in the transplant service from the time that they arrive to the time that they're discharged? So with liver transplant, from the time they arrive, typically they're what we call pre-livers. So they're individuals that, uh, where that either have acute or chronic liver failure. So we start the work process where um, we essentially um, evaluate them as candidates for liver transplant um, and then once they've been approved for liver transplant by the board that discusses them as candidates for liver transplants then they uh, stay until an organ becomes available either by deceased donor or by uh, live donor and then uh, the surgical team um, when one becomes available will offer the organ to that individual and um, and then, so then we start the process of ordering all the medications for them before transplant. They have to be on very high dose steroids. And then after the transplant, um, we manage their immunosuppression in the ICU. And then when they come to us, then we manage them entirely as a patient. Okay. And when do they usually leave? It's, uh, it it, it um, depends on the patient um, and, and also uh, the condition they were in beforehand. Um, for someone who walks into the hospital and has had more chronic liver failure um, and is younger and healthier, they can be out of the hospital in, in uh, I guess, a bit less than two weeks. But for individuals that, uh, for instance, in liver failure, they, um, they have hepatorenal syndrome, so they also have problems with their kidneys, they have they're immunosuppressed, so they have problems with infections. Uh, it, that can complicate their stay, and um, I mean they can they can stay in hospital for months. Um, so there is kind of this this range, uh, and it, it, it's really specific to the patient, uh, I guess, case. Mm -hmm. And um, you did mention uh, hepatorenal failure. Yeah. Um, what are some other common conditions or complications that you come across that your team has to manage? Uh, so HRS, hepatorenal syndrome, is going to be something that's very common, um, and then all, mainly uh, there's a lot of in, infectious uh, processes that happen in, in uh, transplant. We have uh, an infectious disease transplant service that we um, consult routinely, um, but because of the immunosuppression that every patient, um, aside from pre-livers, are going to be on, that predisposes them to some pre
pretty serious infections, so we have to be very, very prudent with our approach to them. Uh, we see a lot of uh, diabetic problems as well, just mainly due to the steroids um, and also um, some of the immunosuppression medications can throw uh, patient sugars out of whack. So those are kind of the main things we see, but there's always random other things we see. Um, and how, how long have you been working for this service now? So I started working with liver transplant, uh, I guess, at the start of November. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, I had about a month of, or six weeks of orientation with all of the different organ groups. Um, and I work with liver transplant uh, with their inpatient service uh, for two weeks every two weeks. So I have every two, uh, other two weeks, I'm doing uh, night and weekend calls. And what did that orientation look like? So we start, I started off and I spent a week with uh, each organ group. So I did kidney first um, and I, I really uh, spent a lot of time just trying to figure out uh, how each, uh, I guess, service works and just the logistics behind it because that's one of the, you'd be surprised, I'd be, that's one of the most, um, I guess, difficult things to figure out, just how uh, they, do, they do their, their medicine. Um, but then, and then there's also the medical side of things that you need to figure out for every um, every group. And then from kidney, I did. I went to lung transplant, and at UHM, the lung transplant team is uh, one of the world leaders. So that was pretty special to be a part of and, and see kind of the transformation that they are able to achieve with lung transplant. Um, and then heart transplant after. There's not as many heart transplant patients, but um, it was still. Um, very, very interesting, and I worked with uh, some very, very smart uh, people, and then uh, then also liver transplant, and I spent a lot of time with liver transplant just because that was going to be the team that I was going to be with, and um, I mean, I, I learned a lot in, the, in that orientation week, but even uh, to this day, I'm learning, learning more just not only about the medicine around it, but also the logistics and kind of how, uh, how things kind of